A few days ago, I called the fake news the enemy of the people, and they are. They are the enemy of the people. That's President Trump speaking at CPAC today, doubling down on his claims about the media. And it wasn't just his talk at the Conservative Political Action Conference showing that the White House is digging in its heels in what's being called Trump's media war. The White House staff took it a step further, blocking the New York Times, Los Angeles Times, CNN, and Politico from attending an informal, on-the-record White House press briefing today with Sean Spicer. It happened inside here. White House spokesperson Sarah Sanders says, we invited the pool so everyone was represented. We decided to add a couple of additional people beyond the pool. Nothing more than that. Apparently, that expanded pool included Breitbart News and the Washington Times. It is a move that has drawn the ire of national professional journalism organizations. A society of professional journalists calls it an unacceptable intrusion on the American people's right to information about their elected officials. SPJ President Lynn Walsh says, as journalists, it is important that we obtain as much information on the record as possible. Without access, that becomes more difficult. And in the end, it is the public that is impacted it the most. And the Radio Television Digital News Association, which has an ongoing archive of the strained interfacing between the White House and the press, issued this statement. Executive Director Mike Kavanagh says RTDNA disagrees and joins with the White House Correspondents Association and others who continue to call on President Trump and his team to understand the critical need to allow the news media to do its job without interference. Now, the Associated Press chose not to participate in this informal gaggle saying through media relations director Lauren Easton, the AP believes the public should have as much access to the president as possible.